Hello and welcome to our Easter Vigil for Holy Saturday, April 8th, 2023. It's good to have you here, those of you in person and those of you who are joining us via Facebook and later via YouTube. I am Pastor Keith Walter and this is Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town. We begin with the greeting. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Sisters and brothers in Christ, on this most holy night, when our Savior Jesus Christ passed from death to life, we gather with the church throughout the world in vigil and prayer. This is the Passover of Jesus Christ. Through light and dark, through word and witness, through water and oil, bread and wine, we proclaim Christ's death and resurrection, share Christ's triumph over sin and death, and await Christ's coming again in glory. Ecule, Kako, let us pray. Eternal God in Jesus Christ, you have given the life and love to all the world. Bless this new fire and increase in us a desire to shine forth with the brightness of Christ's rising until we feast at the eternal banquet through the Son of Righteousness, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we bless the Paschal candle. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the ending, to Christ belongs all time and all the ages. To Christ belongs glory and dominion now and forever. Amen. 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 And Brian is going to help me light the candle. And behold the dark light of Christ blessing the darkness. Thanks be to God. Ecule Kako, let us pray. Eternal giver of life and love, this holy night shines with the dark radiance of the risen Christ. Renew your church with the spirit given us in baptism, that we may worship you in sincerity and truth and may witness to his life and love in our world. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We continue with the reading of the word. God speaks to us in scripture reading, preaching, and song. The first vigil reading is recorded in the 55th chapter of Isaiah. Ho, oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come, buy, and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear, and come to me. Listen, so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, 
a leader and commander for the peoples. And see, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth, and it shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Here ends the reading. A reading from Romans. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in the newness of life. For if we have been reunited with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no long, longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand as you are able for the reading of the gospel. The Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Resurrection of Jesus. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. When Peter and the other disciple set out and went to, then Peter and the other disciple set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in. He saw and believed, for as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. 
Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head, the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. You may be seated. So this is the last segment. Oh, what did I do? Here we go. I love technology. They never told me in seminary that I'd have to be an audiovisual IT person. At least I figured it out. This is the last day of the three great days, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and now Easter Vigil. Sometimes it is, uh, is uh, moved over to a sunrise service or the first service on Sunday morning if nobody meets Pastor Dale was telling me that uh, back in the day, that wasn't in the olden days, was it? It's just back in the day. They were old. They were old days. Okay, back in the olden days, that there used to be a big bonfire out here on Easter Vigil. Yeah, we'd have a fire. Yeah, have a fire, and then everybody would get, they'd have 25, 30 people march around the parking lot. Did they sing? Or did they chant, or what? No, we uh, just said hallelujah. Just said, hallelujah. Well, that's good enough. He is risen. Hallelujah. Okay. I started this series four years ago in uh, 2020, March or April, whatever Easter was. I think it was April 2020, because we were all still locked up. Remember April 2020? We were pretty much at home, right? And I thought... I have this little camera, why don't I do as a little Easter vigil, something, so we can connect with each other and have a sense of connection with Christ and the Holy Spirit, right? And so we're continuing to do that. And I have to tell you, um, I think this is the largest crowd we've had in those four years. Um, did you come last year, Betty? No, you. somebody came last year, I think. They wandered in, and that was the first person in three years. So otherwise, it's always been online. So this year, I wanted to, to I'm, so, I'm so glad to see all of you here. Um, it's, uh, there's something about worshiping at night in the dark that is somewhat mystical and enchanting, and it, it just, it makes, the prayers and when we sing and, and when we uh, talk to each other like in a sermon it makes it feel just a little more alive or special or vibrant or something yeah there's something magical about this every now and then I say to people 
We live in language and we swim in story. We live in language, we swim in story. We are homo loquant, chattering, talking humanity. We like a good story. Facts and calculations, reason and logic, position papers and policies are boring and useless, dry and dead, unless somebody's telling a story. How many times do preachers hear people say, don't lecture me, tell me a story. And make it good, too. Tonight, we are on the cusp of a really good story. A really fascinating up and down. We're between two high points. We're between Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Holy Saturday is quiet. There are the sounds of silence. Even with the lawn guys here, it seemed a little quieter this morning. Yeah. The story, we say, is over. Jesus has died. But wait, wait. There's something going on in the darkness. You know, when they say at the, on that third day at dawn, in the Jewish tradition, dawn starts at 6 p.m. the day before. So dawn may have been Saturday night for the women going to the tomb. In any event, the story starts over again with a stone rolled back. The tomb is empty. The burial clothes are neatly folded. In disbelief, they believe. But what? The sad ending is thrown into turmoil. Their world is cracked open. In confusion, Peter and the other disciple whom Jesus loved go back home. They retreat to safe, manageable stories. Only Mary stays, weeping that the story is again broken. That's all she can figure. Just when you think it can't get worse, right? And so she weeps. Who stole his body? Where have they taken it? She looks into the tomb again. Two angels appear. They question her. She turns away in grief. A man is standing there behind her, perhaps the gard gardener. He questions Mary. She pleads with him. And then with a the word that brings tears to my eyes, he says, Mary. Mary. He sees her. He recognizes her. He acknowledges her in her grief. It is an intimate and personal and loving as you can imagine. And as Jesus recognizes Mary, she recognizes him in response. They see each other. Rabbi, teacher, Jesus lives, the story lives. The language can barely contain the narrative, something about touching, ascending, and God. But Mary doesn't care. He lives. Against all expectation, the story continues. She runs to tell the other disciples. He lives, I've seen him, he's seen me. Yes, there's something beautiful about telling that story at night in this big, lovely dark, by a risky fire, maybe even, that is both enchanting and magical, startling and frightening, joyful and sad, comforting and poignant. Here comes the second high point of our faith story. 
it takes us to a whole new ball game, a whole new narrative, a whole new language game, a whole new life of resurrection, even in the midst of crucifixion. Stay tuned, siblings of Christ. Stay tuned for the story that was once crucified dead and over is now resurrected, alive, I invite you to stand as you are able for the prayers of intercession and the Lord's Prayer. Turning our hearts to God, who is gracious and merciful, we pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of resurrection, this is the night when your holy church gathers around fire and water, water and word, story and celebration. Make us eager to go into all the world with the news that Christ is alive and death is conquered. E ka bakti. E aloha mai. God of resurrection, in the beginning you created all things and declared them good. Where fires or floods and fires threaten to overwhelm and destroy, speak peace against the chaos. Set rainbows in the skies as signs of your faithfulness. Shine your glory through each twinkling star. E ka hapi. E aloha. God of resurrection, you are deliverance for people enslaved by conflict, corruption, and inequality. Grant wisdom to governments and world leaders. Lead them in the way of righteousness along paths of justice. E ka ha E God of resurrection, hold vigil with all who watch and wait this night. Those sitting beside, or trying to sit beside, dying loved ones. Those working the night shift at hospitals and care centers emergency first responders, those awaiting test results or diagnosis, those who are in labor, those who long for healing, especially all those whom we name in our hearts and whose names we speak aloud. Alice, Anita, Casey, Dick, Cal, Naomi, Lahela, Mary, Michael, Patty, Jerry, Peggy, Malia, and Tony. E ka God of resurrection, stir up the waters of salvation and bring renewed life to all who receive or affirm the gift of baptism this night. Claim us as your beloved children, clothe us in the garments of salvation, and raise us from death to life. E ka haku. 
Amen. God of resurrection, bless the memory of all the faithful witnesses who have boldly proclaimed, we have seen the Lord. Give us confidence that because Christ has been raised, we too will be raised to new life. Ekahaku. According to your steadfast love, O God, hear these and all our prayers as we commend them to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one hope by the resurrecting spirit, let us pray as the crucified one has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, Glory are your doors, now and forever. Amen. And now, may God, who brought us from death to life, fill you with great joy. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah! Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is, is risen indeed. Hallelujah. See you tomorrow. <laughs>